Now, I want us to do Euro USD top down analysis. Many people have recommended or have told me uh, Euro USD is one of the pairs, they don't understand it. And the purpose of this lesson 45, I want you to show you how do you do top down analysis. And this lesson can apply to any pair. Anything that you want to analyze, always use top down analysis. So we are doing current market on Euro USD. We want to know what's the direction of the market. We want to identify what do we have, uh, what is the, is buying or selling, what is up with Euro USD? Did you know that Euro USD has a double bottom on monthly? I know many people don't know this, but this one, you see this, you see this support, one candle support, we have done that video on support formation, and I told you about one candle support. The fact that there's a red candle followed by green, we have a support area. So Euro USD has a one candle support on monthly, which is huge. So there's a support area there. So how you, you draw a double bottom, you'll draw two lines, one at the body, the other one at the farthest week. Then, you draw this box. This is the box. It's like a zone. For us, we use it like a zone to know if it has been uh, activated. You can see the double bottom has been activated. I don't know. Comment down below. Did you know EuroUSD has a double bottom on monthly? So we have that double bottom. That's the first attempt. And then this is our second attempt. So with this double bottom, what do you think, guys? Do you think the market long-term uh, trend is sell or a buy? For me, I think long-term is a buy because mostly double bottoms comes to, uh, to push the market up. Let's see where our half is. Can you see where farthest our half is? Is very, very far. That's where our half is. And if at all we want to measure half of the half, because when you have a very high neckline or highest neckline, we need at least to work with two zones. So we need to measure half of this half. So you can see the market has tested our half of the half. Can you see? Our half of the half have been tested, but the half has not been tested, meaning this market is, uh, the market is suggesting that we are on a journey. When the market tests like this once and drops, most probably it will go to the half. When the market comes and um, and breaks through, it might reach here and then go down. So that is the first red flag that this market will be going to 1.28 and we are at 1.05. So from 1.05 to 1.28, that is 2,000. 206. Today is 24th of October. In the making of this video, my analysis, my analysis suggests that Euro USD might buy 2,268 pips. So one day, if it goes to 2,268, I will use this video and then I will do an updated video where I was doing this analysis. It's good to say you know, we are just predicting. I'm not saying it is, it is a must because one, I understand a double bottom can create a cup and handle. So I might be thinking the market will go up there and it can create a cup and handle. Imagine having an inverted cup and handle. Hey, this is huge. It's like dollar should have very like much strength. So uh, the cup and handle first, it goes half of the distance. So if one day the Euro USD drops and reach 0 0.63, it's because of the cap and handle. So I'm not biased. I know possibility of a pattern. The pattern, the pattern that you have can bath two patterns. One, complete double bottom, two, an inverted cap and handle. So according to my analysis, from the hired, from the perspective of monthly, I'm positive that this market is a long-term buy. But if we start seeing a support getting broken, why? Because this is where we got an entry. Using WBB, we got our first entry here. When this candle, you put a box, and then this was where we, we entered our first trade. I remember even trading this trade. And for two months, the market was low because it didn't go with so many pips. Um, the first month, the market went to 87. 287 is fewer pips compared to how monthly should uh, spike. 
And then in the, in two months, it had gone 500 pips only. And I knew this market, it will be uh, like consolidating. So how do you tell which direction will the market take? How would you tell? Will they favor cap and handle or complete double bottom? What do you think? Comment down below, guys. What do you think? Euro USD. And you see, when you say, let's write here. When you say double bottom, when you say double bottom, you are supporting euro. You're supporting euro. Because double bottom, if the market is buying, if the market buys means the base is strong, euro is the base. So you're supporting euro. If we, we, if we talk of cup and handle, if we talk cup and handle, what are you suggesting? You're suggesting the dollar is stronger. USD is stronger. So before even you say, oh, euro is strong, euro USD will sell, euro USD will buy, you need to understand when the base is strong, when the base is strong, we do what? We buy. When the quote is strong, we do what? We sell. So if I have if I have Euro USD, so I, I know if you don't know this, you have to write somewhere so that you don't forget. So if I'm having Euro and USD, one is the base, Euro is the base, and USD is the code. You see, guys? So this is the base. Let me write for you. This is the base. And this is the code. So for us to know the pattern that we'll use, we need to use even fundamental analysis and to know what is happening with either the euro or the USD. So you have to really pay attention on what is happening around you. Yes, the technical is there. Technical analysis is perfect because it gives you a long-term direction. But in case USD can be stronger, the pattern that we get here is a cup and handle. If Euro is stronger, we can get a complete double bottom. Now, there are two flags, red flags, or there are two indications or signals to tell us the pattern that the market is most likely. You see, when we say most likely, this is the pattern that the market most likely will take. We already have that. Because at the current market, it's a ranging market. Can you spot a ranging market here? So these, let me just remove this. Where we stand, the market is ranging. Can you see? So the resistance, this is our resistance, and this is our support. So the market is ranging. So it will be so easy for us to know the direction that they have chosen. And this is not the normal ranging. I will teach you a ranging that we call one candle ranging. Comment down below if you want that video. Because I sometimes I don't I don't feel like people are listening exactly to what I'm saying. So if I read comments with the ranging, one candle ranging pattern, one candle ranging pattern, it is very, very important. You see. When you talk of one candle ranging pattern, can you see from Jan, Feb, March, April, May, it's one candle ranging. This is huge. What this means is that the where the market will break, that's the direction the market will take. It is very powerful. So if you want me to drop that video with examples, comment down below. So this one, if at all sellers can be stronger, USD can be stronger, Euro USD can sell. And let me tell you, it can be so strong, maybe they can come here to try to make a new double bottom or even drop and drop completely. So that is, that is the institution we have. Also, we don't need to wait for this market to break above here to know buyers are stronger. Why? Because already we have an upcoming pattern. We have a double bottom. I hope you can see that. So for us to know buyers are in control, 
we need this market to break half of that double bottom. So we need a green candle to break this half. Like we need a, this green candle that is manifesting to come and break there. That now we shall know that this market is doing what? This market is going to buy. And that is not enough because they can break here and still go down. So the overall is this way. So if you are asking the question of Euro USD, kindly analyze for us. And I think I'm giving you the direction. So from the monthly, we can't know. So any trade we enter on Euro USD, it won't be a holding trade. It will be more than a it will be more than a short-term entry. When we go to weekly, so this is the analysis on the monthly. So unless you come back on monthly and check what has happened, you check, did the market break 1.0889? So that is the zone that you want the market to break, 1.089. So if, if when you go to weekly, you need to remove everything and you analyze in the weekly time frame. So when I'm analyzing the weekly time frame, I noticed that this market ever broke uh, above here. You can see we had a BOS. And this is what we call fake breakout. So yes, we have a break on the weekly, but on the monthly, can we flip on the monthly and spot if we have that break? In fact, we didn't even have a resistance in the first place because what we are seeing here, it's a resistance around here to be broken. When you go to the weekly time frame, you don't get that resistance. So I think I'll still do another lesson where, how do you spot a strong resistance? A strong resistance is when a resistance is on two time frames. So this resistance is only on one time frame. It was never in another time frame. So there was not, in the monthly, they didn't recognize a break, but that does not mean that they have forgotten this break. The market will come back here only if we'll have a CRB. So you can see the same zone, it's not able to break. So they have created like a double bottom, a triple bottom, one, two, three. So we are not using the triple bottom mostly, we are using CRB, CRB. So CRB is what we will use here. So if this green candle, for me, what I think, if this green candle this week breaks, like by Friday, you find a candle breaking, higher chances this market will start going up, higher chances, higher chances. So you need to go to lower time frame and look for another pattern to support your buy. So from the weekly time frame, I think the buyers are showing it is time to enter. Why? Because the sellers have gone back to the zone that have never been broken for three times. And what we know is that once a zone is test test tested the third time, it means it will go up. The market does not test a place three times like that. If it tests the third time, the third time it will break. So we are looking where the market will break the zone of 1.064. If they break there, buyers are starting to come in. So imagine they break here. What else will give us from the lower time frame confirmation of a buy? I spotted something and I want to share it with you guys. This, it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So have you noticed that? That's what we have said. Buyers seems to have more power, yet the market is selling, but long-term direction seems to be buy because of that double bottom on monthly, and then a break of structure on the weekly, and then there's three attempts, so buy is being supported. At this time, if you're looking sell on Euro USD, I think you should wake up from that sleep. It's better you don't trade our buy, but I think buy is being supported more than a sell if you know what I mean. I think buy is being supported more than a sale. So I want us to delete everything. And then we go to the daily time frame. So when I go to the daily time frame, um, you can see the double bottom. In fact, it is on all the time frame. This double bottom is on the daily, the, the weekly, the monthly. It is, and that's why it didn't go to the half as a, as meant we meant this double bottom to go to half but because it's on multiple time frames that's the reason guys if you were asking yourself why is it this double bottom that is the reason because it is even on the monthly so it will be slow 
to reach. Now you need to understand that is the zone that if this buy comes, that's the zone that they will go. 1.0858. Something interesting I got on uh, Euro USD, we have a double top, a possible double top. Can you see that double top? Let me zoom it for you. And this is what will give us an entry. If you use this pattern, can you see it has activated? So this is the first attempt. And then this is a what? Second attempt. You see, we have two attempts. Then now let's look for, for half. Let's look for the half. Can you see it has tested the half? Can you see half has been tested? Let's look for the neckline. This is our neckline. So that's what we have. First, we need to realize or to ask ourselves, is this double top available on the weekly? Let's go on the weekly. Is it there on the weekly? Do you think that double top is on the weekly? No. Meaning whatever this double top will do, that's the main direction the bucket makers and the banks will follow. So we already know a double top but this path two things. A double top can give you a complete, number one, it can give you a complete double top in the market sell completely. This is one. It can give you complete. That's a double top. So if they break here, automatically they are going here. And a double top also can give you an, a cap and handle. This double top can reject, come and break here and go that distance. For us, we want the second one. We want the cup and handle. We want the cup and handle to, to agree with the rest. We want the cup and handle, why? Because it will agree with the rest. So that's our cup and handle. If we measure the distance of this half, that's the distance of this half. It's slightly the same as the half of the double bottom. So that's the distance. So in short, what you're trying to say is that they might use this cup and hand like double top. So if the market rejects, so we don't have an entry yet for, uh, for a buy, but use this double, double top. If we get a break and we use this first resistance, this is what we are using, the first resistance to see the break. If they, they break, just know we have a cup and handle and the market will go up. So if we want to enter early, we need to go to lower time frame, like four hour, to check what is happening. Why is the market reacting at this zone? So let's go to four hour, and we are trying to guess what is happening. Why is our market behaving that way? If you squeeze this chart, you can you can see there's the main zone that has been broken, like there was a very strong resistance. So why is this market getting rejected at that area? We want to tell. So we thought maybe they have activated a double bottom. So on four hour, nothing that is making the market to reject. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. So you will continue flipping to lower time frame to check what really made that market to behave that way. So we go to two hours. Still, there is nothing that is making this market to react. Why? Because if we check on our left, there is no support. So we do what? We go to one hour. When we go to one hour, guys, what do we get? We get what is making the market to stop. Can you see? On your left, what are you having? You are having a double bottom, a possible double bottom. So guys, I want you to concentrate on this double bottom. And of course, we are using CRB, current resistance break for your entry. So. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. So it is it is right now that the, the double bottom is manifesting. It's the time that the double bottom is manifesting. So let's see our half. The double bottom has RBS, meaning uh, this is a sure bet. If you get an entry, you get an entry. I'll be even me myself. I'll put an alarm for after every one hour to check if I get RBS. So how does RB, um, CRB work? CRB works if I have a green, red, I put a line and then I wait 
for the market to go. So I think I have brought you to the place. Imagine if they break this neckline of this one hour. And I think I, we have done this scalping strategy using lower time frame. Now I'm giving you even trades that you can go and trade. So this is uh, uh, Euro USD. We have like that. So that's the direction the market will take to go in phases. That's the double bottom direction. So if we go to back to four hour, if we go back to four hour, you can see the market is reacting, but you can't see anything. So if they don't give you CRB, most probably they will activate the four hour. So be patient, don't enter if the CRB has not manifested. The final take profit, I think it will be 0 0.801. So if you get an entry using one hour time frame, maybe let's say you will earn almost 200 pips. And that is good, guys. So by the time they are breaking, by the time they are breaking cup and handle, you for you, you'll be doing second entry. You won't be doing the first entry. So I'm just giving you early entry to see what, how will you enter. So Euro USD, all the eyes on one hour. But note, if they break, if this zone is broken, let me show you. If they break that with a red candle, you will wait for four hour double bottom. So pray God they don't break there because if they do like that, just wait for activation of this hope they won't break. Even me, I'm waiting for an entry. Thank you so much, guys. I hope all the best on Euro USD. It's a short term trade because on the monthly, we don't have an entry. So these are trades that you enter and you don't hold position. You enter and after like hours or one day, you just close the trade because they are not long term trade. They are not swing trade. They are, they are, they, they are inter trade uh, trades that you don't hold for long. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye bye.